Hello, hello guys. Uh, namaste, Perev, DAP, San Bonani. Kumilang, uh, Huya Mor. Uh, ni Hao. Bonjour. Uh, what else? Okay, it's fine. Anyway, we have an Acer laptop right in front of me. So what's happening on this machine? It's not turning on. The moment you connect a charger, the charging light goes off so it means there's a short swear on the 19 volt the 19 volt got set to ground this is gonna be an easy repair moment to connect the charger the charging light goes off the machine is not turning on at all no charging the battery no charging lights uh, it's not doing anything Right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, there we are. So, what do we do? Take your multimeter, turn it into continuity mode, and then yeah, you check current center. There is a shot on the current center. There's a shot to ground. Shot to ground. Okay, I'm gonna show you under the microscope. First, let's remove this. The string. Wi Fi. right there we are there we are there is a short to ground and it's but it's dead see on this side but it's dead see on this side okay guys i repeat again you have to do a physical inspection first and you can see shorted capacitors you can spot them very 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 easy in case you don't have a dc bench power supply this is how you will do it you will have to spot them if you can if you can't you can't but if you can more especially check the bigger ones the big caps are the one responsible for for the 19 volt the 19 volt is shorted to ground Okay, if you can't find this short, we'll have to inject the power. Okay. Okay, there's a short. I'm not sure if you can see. There we go. There's a short on the current center. Let me, see, let me show you how many ohms short of 20 20 ohms so what we do i'm gonna check the cpu okay let me do this 
I know what to do. I have a plan. Let's remove the CPU. Okay, the CPU has been removed. Okay, put it to arms. 439, 440. Put it to doubt mode. 150. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, right after removing the CPU, there is no shot to ground. One hundred and forty ohms. Continue to mode. One hundred and fifty-one. The CPU shot set or not? Let's put back the CPU. Let's check. Okay. I believe the CPU power supply is not good. The one causing this. I'll remove the CPU. Uh, turn on my soldering wire. I will, I mean, my soldering iron, I will have to inject the 19 volts. I want to see what will get hot. But again, this is not good. The CPU, the CPU power supply is not good. All right, so let me show you under the microscope. I want you to see everything. Okay, I've removed the MOSFETs from the CPU power supply. Let me show you. Then on the microscope. Okay, the MOSFETs were here, so I removed all of them. Look at that guy, look at that guy, look at, look at this guy, he came off. Okay, okay, so I removed all the MOSFETs that were here. So they are all out, so I will have to check each and every one of them. You know how to check MOSFETs. I've done a video. If you don't know, check one of my videos. You will see. Let's see which MOSFET. 512. This is fine. We reverse the probes. No reading. Okay, this is fine. What about this one?
So what about this one? This is shorted to crown. I mean, I mean, this is shorted, not to crown. No, I'm saying this is shorted to crown. This is shorted. It's not about crown, but this is shorted. Imagine I'm saying this is shorted to crown, but whereas this is just shorted. Even the gate is shorted. All the pins are shorted. Let me show you. Let me show you before someone start complaining. Let me show you. Let me show you. But believe me, I did a video explaining how to check a MOSFET. Okay, this is gate. Pin number one is the site when you flip the chip, when you flip the MOSFET. Uh, this is pin number one and gate is this one. So all these pins that are now connected together, the whole thing. It's now dead because I'm using a multimeter. I'm oh shit. Okay, it went away, but it's fine. I hope you saw. All the pins are connected. Even the gates. Shut it to ground. Beeping one way. The gate is beeping. This is beeping. This is beeping. Everything is beeping. So yeah, we need to change that guy. Put him aside. Let me check another one. Under ten fifty-five is too low. 181 is too low. 525, that's fine. Let's find some replacement parts. All right, guys, I have a donor port. So let's remove those components, those MOSFETs. But now, where's my tweezers? All right, guys, I have the donor ball. I mean, I have the, the MOSFETs. Let's check them one by one. Keep in mind, you are looking for, for N channel MOSFETs. 488, so you can see. 488, this is fine. Take another one. 492. Let me reverse. Okay, it's fine. Take this one. Let's reverse. Fine. 465. Four seven two. Let's reverse. No reading. This is fine. What about this? Four nine zero. No reading. This is fine. Okay. Anyway, this a pet. This a pet. 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 <laughs> Let's put them back.
Hey guys, the board uh, has, has been cooled down. So what do we do? Uh, let's check on the CPU power supply again. Nothing this time. Seems good. Let's put to uh, I mean, doubt mode. 4143. That's perfect. Okay. Let's connect. CPU actually I was hoping and I thought the shorts was coming from the from the thing from the capacitor it's 14 the diode is 14 check with the continuity 14 with the ohms 14 okay it's fine you can say it's fine so let's try to turn on this machine Let's put back the fan. Okay guys, there's no short anymore. Let's press the power button. Okay, I'm pressing the power button, it's not turning on. Let's switch off the PC bench power supply. Why it's not turning on? All right, the power button and the side is not connected. Okay, the power button has been connected. Oh, okay. There we go. When it's spinning. Chain is turning on. It's loading windows. There we go. 